Every time there's been an attempted assassination attempt or an alleged assassination attempt or whatever you want to call it attempt, this felon, even though his brain seems to be Swiss cheese and mush, knows how to grift, knows how to get people to not pay for their medications and send them five bucks. First assassination attempt, we get sneakers, $225 for fist bump sneakers with our good old pal, former President Trump. And then during the second assassination attempt, he puts out this. So it's a grift that keeps on grifting. That's right. The billionaire begging for money. To pay for his lawyer's bills? Yeah. To pay for everything. Even Melania's haircuts. But is it for his campaign? Not necessarily. Don't forget, he's a billionaire, right? And if the economy was so bad, like he says it is, then why is he selling sneakers for $225? Better yet, remember the gold lame sneakers he came out with? They were going for over $400? Well, look what they're selling for now. And who said crime doesn't pay? <laughs> By the way, I'm Arthur. Here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube, I am an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And yes, you don't have to be a psychic to know that the grift is on and that he's the grift that keeps on grifting and that, yeah, and the grift goes on. It's going to continue. Okay. And then in November, if he's still around and he loses the election, then he's going to be begging people for more money for it. They stole it again for another stop to steal telethon or begathon, we'll call it. He has no shame. And that's another reason why he can't be president. Do we really want a shameless person as our president? So I got a lot of questions from the last couple of weeks. The show got delayed. Sorry, that thing called life gets in the way and crazy clients. So um, I'm going to continue with some of the questions that I've had for a couple of days now. And one of them is about this Laura Loomer. So who exactly is this Laura Loomer? Laura Loomer is an American far-right political activist, conspiracy theorist, and internet personality. She was the Republican nominee to represent Florida's 21st Congressional District in the 2020 United States House of Representatives election, losing to Democrat Lois Frankel. She also ran in the Republican primary for Florida's 11th Congressional District in 2022, losing to incumbent Daniel Webster. She has described herself as being pro-white nationalism and a proud Islamophobe. She's such a delightful creature, isn't she? She keeps on stirring the pot more and more. In fact, the people around him are getting tired of her. When you have Margie Taylor Greene complaining about Laura Loomer, yeah, hell is freezing over. No, that's because Dick Cheney is voting for Harris. But anyway, we're in an upside down world. Now, I did get some questions about, is there going to be a government shutdown? No. It's going to go right to the razor's edge. But no. What they're going to do is basically kick the can, which they always do, just kick the can. But then... Johnson may be on thin ice. And I've always seen him gone before the election. Now, I will admit, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I thought he was going to be gone by May. But he's still here. Who knew? But then again, I you can rest assured that Hakeem Jeffries will be our next Speaker of the House. All right. Now, moving on with some wonderful questions, huh? You may have heard this before, but Donald Trump is now saying that Taylor Swift will pay a price for endorsing Kamala Harris, praying for protection for this wonderful young woman for doing the right thing. Yes. But other than that, next question, will the Taylor Swift endorsement put, put Harris over the top? Yeah, it's not going to hurt. Next question. <laughs> Nanny Duda. Oh my God, what a name. What's going to happen outcomes to Donald Trump related to 
New York fraud case, DA Letitia James, New York election case, DA Alan Bragg, Georgia election case, election case, DA Fonnie Willis. Thank you. Well, I believe that a picture is worth a thousand words. So here. Okay, there you go. Service team 9437 asks, do you see an October surprise for Trump? If so, what is it? Well, as I said on Linda's show, the October surprise is that he's still here. He's not dead. Entertainment purposes only. I don't wish the man dead. I want him to face everything he's done. But whatever the powers that be will be. Hey, sirrah, sirrah. But I do feel there's a lot of stuff coming up out of the case in D.C. with the Jan 6 stuff, with Jack Smith bringing new evidence, documents, transcripts, you name it, he's bringing it in. And that's when I think everyone's going to go, what the F? He did what? Like, and you'll be surprised, but not surprised, but surprised. Just to see how low this guy can go. And not do the limbo. Now, a lot of people are asking me, basically, if Trump did so bad in debate, will the GOP remove him? I don't see it. I don't feel they're going to remove him. And also, will J.D. Vance step aside? Well, I guess he could get a... If J.D. Vance were to step aside, he could always get an endorsement from Maybelline or something. Anyway... Um, no, I don't see him stepping aside, but I've always want to say that for some reason, when it comes to the November 5th, I don't have the man standing. So I'm going to say on this, I could be wrong. Um, user DT5K, does Trumpy have dirt on RFK Jr. who flew on Epstein's plane three times? Is that why the endorsement? No, I don't think it's, no, no. I just feel that, you know, RFK, who's been known to eat dog, by the way, and he's not Haitian, um, entertainment purposes only, um, went first to Harris and then went to Trump. But went to Harris, I think, was a fake. And then he went to Trump. And so that's why he's there. It's all a mind game, people. And don't fall into the trap. Okay? Again, Carol Warner, do you still see Harris winning? All the spin about her not moving up much in the polls is driving me nuts. Well, depends what poll you look at. But as I've been saying, don't look at the polls at all. It's nice to hear the stuff that she's moving forward. I mean, you can feel the everything's energized since she's running. But the thing is, we cannot get complacent. If you hear she's up five points in the polls, pretend you heard she's five points below and keep on moving forward and vote down ballot. Blue. No matter who. Okay. Jitterbug. Hi, Jitterbug. The thug is putting, yeah, a lot of questions about Haiti. The Haitian community. It just horrible. And even J.D. Vance admitted that it was a lie. And the lady that put it up on Facebook admitted and said what it was from. And she found her kitty cat, even though she blamed the Haitian next door neighbor, she found a kitty cat in the basement. And now she's worried about her daughter getting doxxed or something. Well, what goes around comes around. But I do feel it's out of the fascist playbook. You get a group of people that you focus on. Sometimes it's the gays. Then it's the trans people. Then it's the blacks. Then it's the brown people. And then it's immigrants. Immigrants. We're all immigrants, for Christ's sake. Even Trump's family comes from Germany, and his father and his grandfather got deported back for running a brothel. But I do feel the Haitians will be safe. It's just a few of the nut jobs that, you know, 
their fearful leader says something and they think they have to go follow and do something evil. But I'm telling you, it's going to be all right. All right? The hoax will stop. Um, uh, spiritual Serenade Tarot. Being from Ohio, will those from this horrendous Springfield lies be safe? Yes, I feel they'll be safe. But do you remember when when Vice President Harris was asked if she feels safe? And said, yeah, I have Secret Service. I feel safe. But there's a lot of people in this country that don't feel safe. And that was such a brilliant comeback. It shows you where her heart is. Okay. Um, is there anything that can be done to protect the immigrants in Springfield? Well, pray. Do most men have long comes. But I'm telling you, it's going to, this too shall pass. All right. Remember Pizzagate where the guy went into the pizza parlor in New York with a gun and was looking for the basement where they were supposedly eating children and there's no basement. Anyway. Yeah. Now. Since asked, do you see Judge Thomas making any kind of deal to step down if Jack Smith doesn't pursue Ginny for her crimes. Thank you. Um, no. 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 I feel it's, it's, the stuff is going to stack up really high. It already is. Tapes are going to be leaked. Things are going to be found out. Emails are going to be leaked. And Thomas is going to say, I better step down. Or else I'm going to jail. So he resigns. Now, I love this name. Have a great day, 24-7. Hi, Arthur. Is there a difference between Project 2025 and Agenda 47? It sounds like 45 is attempting to form their own. Thank you. Okay. Project 2025 is written by everybody that worked for Trump in his administration, from Steve Miller on down, and then some from the Heritage Foundation. Okay, J.D. Vance wrote the foreword. And for Trump to say he's not involved with it, yeah. Put it this way. Are these all the same? They come in different packages, but a hamburger is still a hamburger, is still a hamburger. So Project 25, Agenda 47 is still dystopian hell for all of us. Okay, so again, vote blue. June Brewer, when foe 45 loses the election, who will pay his lawyers in all his court cases? Won't the PAC money dry up after the election? That's a really good question. And I I really don't know. I mean, do you think he's paying for an insurance policy? I doubt it. Well, the one thing he's always done and been very, very consistent with He's always stiffed his lawyers. So while he's alive or while he's dead, what's the difference? Jenny W. Hi, Arthur. Who else will be named by the DOJ in the Russian agent PR scheme? Oh, there's too many. There's too many to, to name. There are people from the House, people from the Senate. Lots of more influencers are going to come out. Uh, lots of what I'm considering like top tier school officials. Because all the same talking points as the Russians are putting out in the propaganda. How do you know their propaganda? Well, listen to what Putin has to say. And then if Marjorie Taylor Greene repeats exactly what Putin says, hmm... I wonder where she got her information. It's like cheating on a test. You look at the guy next to you, you write down what they had, and then you find out, oh, he knew it and he put the wrong answers. But unfortunately, Putin's not putting the wrong answers. All right. Now, we've got a lot of other questions. Will there be any government change in Iran in next year? Any real international consequences for their funding terror working with Putin? Not now. 
not now. I feel within two years there's going to be a shift, and it's going to be very fast. That was from LK57913. Now, John is asking, will Netanyahu and his crimes be out of a job by the end of 24? I feel it strongly and that he will be toast. I agree with you on this. Um, I've always said Netanyahu. Now, this is where I was wrong. I felt Netanyahu would be gone by the end of July. But he's keeping this war going so that he doesn't get in trouble and go to jail. But when as soon as the war ends, he's going to jail anyway. Um, I don't get him as being a very nice man. Let's put it that way. My personal opinion. Who am I? Just some random psychic. Um, now, what I'm also getting a lot of questions about is earthquakes, weather. As I've, most of you know, I live in Southern California. I'm in Los Angeles. And if there's going to be the earthquake, I think my guides would warn me. I mean, a couple months ago, I was at the 99 cent store and for some reason bought museum putty. Believe me, nothing moves. It's like a celebrity space with Botox. And we then had a little shaker afterwards. So I would never have bought that stuff, but for some reason it's like, oh, buy it. And that's sometimes how it works. It's just gut instinct. But I feel that if I'm being told to get my backpack and get my kit, my earthquake kit out, then I know something's going to come. Or if I disappear and nobody hears from me, then worry about it. But no, I'll tell everybody. But what I keep on getting is I'm not feeling as much in the Los Angeles area as I feel in Northern California, near Oregon. That's where I feel there's stuff going. I also feel something in Alaska, but inland, not 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 where there's a lot of people. And I still see a couple more in Europe, perhaps Italy. And as far as the weather is concerned, it's going to be wet. 2024 is going to be wet in the Gulf in the Gulf area and the eastern seaboard, especially around you know northern Florida. I don't mean to say I'm all doom and gloom. I mean I don't see it's going to be like the end of 2025 when you have Santa Monica going into the ocean. I mean I remember I saw that movie. I said to my friend, "There's my house." Um, it's kind of scary, but. All in all, I do feel if we are kind to each other, we can be kind to the earth, kind to Gaia, and send healing energy out all the time, not only to those in need, but also to this beautiful planet in need that we live on. Okay? Now, I I got some i'll call it hate mail where someone said you know you talk about voting it's insulting well it's insulting that you think it's insulting that's all i'm going to say i'm not reading my comments much anymore i have somebody doing it but i found that and somebody showed it to me and i felt that insulting because a lot of times People need to be reminded. Yeah, Kamala Harris looks like everything's going good and everything's cool and fun, but no. Vigilance. Stay vigilant. Stay on top of it. Because we can make it happen. It's like when we manifest. You don't manifest or something in the future, per se. You manifest or pray that it's already here. The law of the universe. That it's here. So we've got the government that we want, that we need, that is here. It just hasn't shown up yet. I know you're going to think I'm full of crap, but you know what? So be it. But 
these are the kind of lessons I teach. How to love yourself, not to be patient, but to be present about how to stay out of overwhelm, how to stay out of being resentful, all those kind of things. And people say, well, you don't have to be a psychic to know that. It's like, not necessarily. I mean, you know, when I'm working with a client and I can see some trauma from their childhood, right away it's going to be, okay, you're getting exercise, healing the inner child. And it's really easy to do. And once we heal our inner child and we're loved, we're loving ourselves, we're raising our vibration, gaining clarity, and becoming invisible to the Jerry Springer people. Or, in this case, some of the MAGA people. All right? So, I'm not going to be around next week. I'll be in Chicago. Oh, and at the event, I believe there's a few more seats available. So, if anybody's interested, give Mel's office a call. I'll put it down below. And in the meantime, if you need readings, um, I've got openings starting mid-October on. All right. Oh, and by the way, I can be a conspiracy nut just as much as anyone else. And when I saw the very first pictures from the Butler PA incident, this is what came to mind. Enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. You are to shoot the presidential nominee through the head. And Johnny will rise gallantly to his feet and lift Ben Arthur's body in his arms and stand in front of the microphones and begin to speak. The speech is short, but it's the most rousing speech I've ever read. It's been worked on here and in Russia on and off for over eight years. I shall force someone to take the body away from him. Then Johnny will release those microphones and those cameras with blood all over him, fighting off anyone who tries to help him, defending America even if it means his own death, rallying a nation of television viewers into hysteria to sweep us up into the White House with powers that will make martial law seem like anarchy.